realtor. And then, and then, so what we're going to do is click this camera function right here and make sure that the camera is pointed away from you. It's a little slow. We're going to catch up. And I'm going to hold my thumb down on my phone screen. Okay, so you do the same thing. Push your phone down on your phone screen. Yeah. Under by me, I'm not on Facebook. Okay. So I can. Then I'm gonna point the. So there's a circle. The camera over the code. Oh. Right. So I'll go back to this screen. Oh, I didn't even do anything. Me too. For real. Yeah, and get started. So you got it. This is the code. So I'll do that again. Yes. I'm in the Facebook Messenger dashboard in my phone. I click the camera function at the bottom. I hold my thumb over the screen and a circle appears on my screen. And then I point it at the code. You're the tree hugger? I'm the tree hugger from <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> You're just coming in, uh, we detailed a different method of communication, and I'm delivering my class materials to you through the Facebook Messenger. This is also a thing you can use on your open houses now. If you want to deliver detailed information to people walking by, you can put this code on your yard signs and deliver information that way. But for now, my class materials will be coming to you on your phone in the form of a Google Drive slides file through this message. Is there another way to get it if I do not have that? Nope. No other way to get it. You have to have Facebook yeah, I Messenger. The time. I, know. I know. So that's kind of the deal. Yeah. Okay. So what's the agenda for today? Why are we here? Because video communicates more effectively than text, print, or audio communication. And this is a live demonstration or evidence of its ability. <coughs> so we're gonna go over why video is so important, why maybe you've been hesitating to use it, and how to use it easily, I'm going to show you some tools and some shortcuts to making videos, and then I'm going to do a live demonstration. In front of you, record a video, publish it to YouTube so that it shows up on the first page of Google. Now, this is important for realtors because if you would like to farm your neighborhood and be known in your corner of the world for being the realtor in your neighborhood, then People have to become aware of you. They have to be introduced to you. And the best way to do that is with video with your body language. I have a background in sales and I was knocking on doors 50 times a day. And my boss kept telling me to work smarter, not harder. And when I discovered this, I doubled down on my video production investment. And I stayed up late nights just experimenting with it until it came into what it is today. I've given this talk 163 times, and I live in Denver, Colorado. I'm out here uh, for a week, and then I go up to San Francisco, and then back to Denver where I'm a head soccer coach at a local high school, and we'll be starting two-a-days as soon as uh, I get back. So that's me in a nutshell. Uh, there's three classes that I give for realtors. The first one is the one that you'll be seeing today. That's the big why. That's the big, oh, I didn't know it was capable of that. Yeah, it is. And now it's worth investing more of your time to look good on video, to be a, a competent video communicator. And I say that you are your own best video spokesperson because nobody knows your business better than you do. And 
so leadership in business is now pulling us towards being better video communicators. And when you can do it quickly and efficiently, and it's not a big hassle, then you enjoy it. And everybody wants to be put in a good light. And so I've simplified uh, getting found. I've simplified looking good when you get found. And then uh, number three, which is getting found by more people. And this is the method of targeting one zip code with your YouTube video. Anybody that goes to YouTube has noticed there's a five second pre preview video that you can skip. It's called an overlay video or a pre-roll video. Has anyone experienced that? It's an ad, isn't it? It's an ad. Yes. And that's what this shows you how to do, right? So you can put yourself, who you are and what you do in front of your target neighborhood. So you would be the ad. You would be the ad. So that means your first four seconds of that video okay. is the most important four seconds. Right. And guess what? Those are really efficient because if somebody actually skips your ad, you pay nothing. It's free. If they continue to watch 30 seconds or more, then you pay like five cents. But that's not bad if they're actually watching, they're interested in what they're watching and they're not skipping it. So when I discovered this, this sequence, I paid a lot of attention to it about three years ago. 10 years ago, I started using video and, um, and once I found this tool, which is the second class, so a quick overview of the editor that I've been using called Batisto. Magisto has just turned a three hour editing process into a three minute process for me. And for that time saver alone, I've again given it more of my attention. And now I teach it as a way to quickly with your smartphone capture images, such short video clips, and then Magisto puts them together with royalty free music, graphic animations, and makes me look good. How much do you have to pay for that? And Magisto, I believe, is $30 a month. It's not cheap, but if you're making a video a week, it's like $6 a week. And is it 30? It's not too bad. $30, $30 a month, yeah. Um, next video, list. Here we go. Okay, so. In my first agenda, I told you about the video we're going to be, or the presentation we're going to be doing today. In the last clip, I showed you the second class, and this is an example of the third class, which is the advertising. This shows you they're only paying two cents per view. They spent a total of $125. It's almost one out of two people are seeing the video instead of skipping it. And 5,000 people in their target zip code saw them and who they are. I'm talking real estate. Real estate. And so when 5,000 people see you and who you are, there's gonna be enough of them who are a lot like you, who you're gonna build trust with very quickly and who may consider you for the service that you offer. That's really the sales funnel in its most basic format. And that's how I turned cold calling and door knocking into video short one minute video production, lead attraction. How long does, how long does it run, your video run as an ad? How often? Uh, you can, I recommend running it for a dollar or $2 a day forever. Yeah. I mean, 
it's kind of like you're in their face, so they remember you. Exactly. And you stay in top of mind. And it's not always everybody in the market for buying and selling, but when they do get in the market, you want to be there. At first, whatever the advertising, you know, at first that they. AdWords. AdWords, yeah. I'm watching yeah. it, it's like every single time, I'm like, oh, please stop. <laughs> so, but, you know, and I don't care about them because I don't need them. But if I did, then here it is. I watch some of them sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So, you don't have a choice. So, then, like 10 or 15 seconds, you, you have to watch it. You cannot even skip it. Yeah. So, why does farming work? I did a little research, and this is the best article I found on why this method of marketing real estate services works with this strategy that's been used for almost 100 years. And the first one is you're, you already live there. You're already kind of a local expert because you're driving down all the streets every day. You're walking around with your dog, maybe. But you're seeing all the things that you're an expert in every day. That's one reason. You've already got connections there with like a local mechanic or the cash register at the grocery store or the gas station. Um, you're more available to clients. Oh yeah, I can show you that house. I'm right down the street. It will take me two minutes to get there. That's a much better job than driving across town to show somebody a house. And um, you're probably going to be easier to do your research there, right? You're going to know one set of statistics and keep your eye on that same set of statistics as it moves up and down. And you'll be much more knowledgeable about that farm area than if you had to be responsible for the whole San Diego area. So this says pick well-defined boundaries like a zip code. can more easily make your business plan predictions boil down exactly what your numbers will be every month if you do this much activity with these properties in this well-defined area. I think it's a really good way to distinguish yourself from your competition. And just because you pick one zip code or one area to farm, does that mean you cannot by any means represent homes or buyers in other geographic areas? No, no, they're gonna naturally know. If you do it in one zip code, you're gonna be able and capable of doing it in another. So you're not excluding yourself from those other areas either. You're just saying. Uh, Are you saying you have to work within a single zip code? Like, you cannot do like, let's say, 9218 and 9219. It's way too much. Correct. But different communities within the same zip code. Correct. And then it kind of works like a pebble in a pond. You pick that one zip code, people in that one zip code have a good experience with you, right? It makes a ripple effect to their circle of influence and outwards and outwards. I have a question. Yeah. So let's say that you have it on forever. Can you change the video? You just go in there, put a new video and change it whenever you want or? Yes, you can. You can, you can give it really specific directions on women or men only, uh, parents or non-parents. Right, right, right. That I know, but the videos, like you just go there, put a pause, change the video, and then... Yeah, absolutely. Now, these are ways that this particular article is suggesting that you market to the people in your farm. One is direct mail. Well, let's compare that little two cent ad with direct mail. So it's like 1500 bucks to hit 100 houses or something. And you know, 90 out of the 100 direct mail pieces are going straight in the trash. Yeah. And you paid a dollar for that to go in the trash. Compared to YouTube, where you pay nothing if somebody skips it, puts it in the trash, and five cents if somebody watches it. This is going to allow you to get your personality, your the persona, your vulnerability that, that allows you to build trust in front of the right people. Is there a maximum expense? Because when you're looking at going viral and it's you.
they're doing something else with their phone. Okay. <laughs> It's saying, not really mentioning this YouTube thing, which I believe is another good option. People doing it and stand it out, be different. So important. And you can also pick zip codes. So I just kind of made this graphic to share to show the, the air, how specific you can actually get if you want to. In, in the past, question? And this is only for YouTube, that people only will see it when they go to YouTube. Correct. Uh, in the past, video production has been very expensive. It cost half a million dollars for the first digital video editor and one of the guys I worked for had to mortgage his house to buy this but at the time he was like one of only five people in Denver that could edit your video and send it across the world today it's free to do that so what used to cost a half a million dollars is now free and to make videos in the past you could you could have only two out of the three. It could be fast and good, but it wasn't going to be cheap. That's what you're used to in video production. And it can be fast and cheap, but it wasn't going to be good. And it could be good and cheap, but it was going to be an indie film. And it was going to take a long time. It's not going to be fast. Well, today, now with smartphone technology, we can have all these three things. We can. And I want to show you that today. Here's some more statistics to help build my case that video is very important. Uh, the most important, I think, being that in, that in 2019, in one year, internet video traffic will account for 80% of all consumer internet traffic. And that's actually above that number right now. So we're already there. Why video? Because Video has body language, and that conveys uh, with somebody's perception of you much more authentically than text or an image or a voicemail or a radio show ever could. And a video communicator is that you're able to quickly connect with just some of the right people. Not, not everyone you're gonna connect with, but for people who are a lot like you, you're gonna connect with very quickly. Look at all the things that body language communicates. You know, if I look over there with my eyes and then my head, it means something different than if I look over there with my head and then my eyes. This, this is an example of body language. You're also using three of the main educational forms of communication, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. They're actually touching on the video. Communication is emotion plus information. And nothing can convey emotion better than a moving picture. Seth Godin says that communication is the transfer of emotion. Seth Godin also said that companies who use this better than their competitors will thrive in the new year because of its new capabilities and its, its amazing new technology that gets introduced every week. So these two guys started a company 18 years ago on the campus of uh, Stanford University in the center of Silicon Valley. And they said, we can fix this thing called the internet if we focus on one thing. 
And they said, if we give people this one thing, they'll keep coming back over and over again. And that thing is the UX, the user experience. If we give people what they want, they'll keep coming back. That's the law of attraction, isn't it? And so we need to take a cue from Sergey and Larry and give people what they want. And Larry and Sergey track behavior. They know what you want. They know what keeps you engaged longer. And it's video. People would prefer to consume information through a quick, precise video with someone who could clearly communicate it and not waste their time than with a print or a text or audio, which they all have the ability to show you. This is Google here. They, they rank everything on the internet and show you what they think is the most relevant. If they don't do that, you're gonna go somewhere else, right? Can I see a show of hands of everyone in the room who's used Google in the last 24 hours? Let the record show, you can't see it. It's everybody here. Everybody used it. Because it gives us instant gratification, doesn't it? It said that the information age is now over. People are not willing to pay for information because they know they can get it easily, quickly. And they prefer to get it easily and quickly through video. So let's go ahead and use the Google search engine to do some queries and see what I'm talking about. So this is not going to be death by PowerPoint, okay? Um, let's just open up Google, and we'll type in real. America, and I'm thinking I need. need a realtor. So, realtor near me, maybe is what you type in. Well, what do you see the first thing that comes up? Ads. 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 Those companies are paying for that placement, right? How much are they paying? Do we know? A couple of clicks, or a couple bucks a click, right? You know, I mean, if one out of four clicks turns into a buyer or seller, that's pretty good. But maybe that's not happening. And did you know that 90% of all of Google's revenue comes from one product? AdWords. So guess how much money they made last year? Billions. Billions and billions. And AdWords is responsible for 80 of those billions. Companies like this paying them to get here. So we're gonna figure out how to Shortcut that whole process, okay? So, just hang with me here. What if I only spoke Swahili? I could do Russian. I could do Russian. Uh, there's only one ad, and it's not relevant. And there's all these other text and so my video could easily show up here. Let's try Russian, as we were hearing. And there's, there's a little bit of competition here. Okay, well, let's say I was in Kendall, Florida, and I was looking for real estate resources. Uh, first, I would see these maps of real estate agents. Oh, my God, it was down there a few months ago. Is that the right title? Not even that. I think maybe Kendall, Miami is probably it. Where is it? Let me 
That's right. I used to live there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's technically Miami, but Kendall's kind of like this, like the sub city, I guess. So. I'm trying to think of one of the ones I've done a class before uh, about getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there it is. So let's go over here. There it is. Okay, so just so I know that this is um, here, let's go here. Here, a different browser. There it is. Okay. Okay, so there it is. The video shows up right here with this title and uh, YouTube displays it on the first page of Google. So what are some keywords for this video marketing strategy that a realtor could use? Here is the video titles that you'll be making uh, and what you'll be talking about with one minute videos, okay? This is the most valuable keyword you've got. You know why? Because what does somebody do right after they look for schools in a particular neighborhood? They move, but first they gotta find the school, right? Okay, so I've got an example of that I can show you too. High schools in the Denver Tech Center. Okay, here's one. That's the one I made for a mortgage broker who had me in to speak, to do a similar training for his clients. One of the best school systems in the state of Colorado is the Cherry Creek District. Cherry Creek High School is very desirable. The campus also has elementary as well as a junior high. Home of the Bruins. Haley, one of the best athletic programs in the state. If you're looking for a private school option in the Denver Tech Center, Kent Denver is one of the most prestigious schools in all of Colorado. We're at the other public high school, Thomas Jefferson. We have the honor to be with the assistant principal. Up to teach it. The jewel of the South. You can come and experience a small family feel. Get that traditional high school under 1,100 students. We welcome you. I'm Justin Morganski with Citywide Home Loans. So if you are looking for a house in this neighborhood, give us a call and we'll figure out how much house you can afford and get you pre approved. Right? Or coffee shops. So this was a, a video, oh, now it does show up on the first page, but it didn't for a while, but just because it was tagged locally, it showed up a lot in this sidebar right here. Anybody know what this sidebar is called? Have you noticed this before when you watch YouTube videos? This is YouTube's recommended videos for you. Can anybody tell what I'm into? Soccer. I like soccer. Right, I did that soccer coaching stuff. So I do a lot of my YouTube viewing, looking at new drills and inspiration that I can bring to my team. But what I'm watching is coffee shops in Inglewood. So what's likely to show up over here are other Inglewood tagged videos. Here's the Urbanist Denver. Um, what used to be over there is like some of the videos that the city of Inglewood published, like public service things. So what's what Google's doing, what YouTube is doing is recognizing what you're watching, what you usually watch, and it's recommending videos to YouTube here. That's what that's how this video collected so many views 
was in this select suggested videos tab. It didn't actually show up on the first page of Google, but it was performing because I tagged it with my neighborhood and people who were watching videos about their neighborhood saw my video with that neighborhood in the title and they clicked on it to watch it. So this is a good example of a video you could make. Coffee shops near Inglewood, let's take a tour. And I like making videos, so I figured we'll just make a video of all the coffee shops in my neighborhood. So we're right in the middle of Inglewood Parkway Town Center, and Nixon's is a coffee shop that's right in this parkway. So let's go take a look. Oh, hey, look, a puppy. A puppy. Oh, it's not a puppy. Okay, so that's a technique you can use too. Be willing to invite other things into your frame, your video frame, especially things that people love to connect with, like little furry soft puppies. It wasn't staged? Yeah. It was not staged, but it was there. And before I pressed go, I'm like, I'm going to say hello to that. Are you videotaping yourself? Yes, I am, video stick or I am that? videoing myself. Um, I invented this tool right here called the mobile studio stick. Because after I figured out the sequence, I was like, well, I'm not gonna have my daughter hold it for me or my assistant. I need something to do it myself. So this was it. And I just recently found a bag so that it just goes over the shoulder. It comes with microphones and a light. And yes, it does extend. So that all I was doing was pinching my elbow next to my waist and the video was being recorded from the end of this and you can't even tell that it, i'm using a stick because it properly like extends away from your body like that so the phone goes on there like this oh There it is. So that answers that question. Can you control it from down there? No. Yeah. Oh, you can't? No, I mean, like, you can't push your buttons from down there or anything. I don't need to. Forward. Don't need to. Yeah. It's just, it's, that's the one shot. And you can tell I'm only recording like 15, 20 seconds at a time. And then putting it together. It's just really interesting. Okay, so I'm going through my town and I'm showing, look, my daughter's like, really, Dad? Had to pull me onto this video. Like, what's your favorite coffee shop, Jared? And of course, she's like, Starbucks. So I go to Starbucks and I go over here. And then I kind of find this weird, this weird one on the map. And I'm like, oh, perfect. Let's go. I said, I'll find coffee road for you. It's listed under coffee shops, so I can either save you a bad experience of showing up here and not finding a place to drink coffee, or find you a really sweet place to drink a cup of java and check it out. Look, you got a creek over here. They give me a free concert. I'm gonna wait for the receptionist to come back here. I just found out that this is not a coffee shop. Sorry, this is a roastery. So save yourself the trip. Uh, can't really buy a cup of coffee here, but it's wholesale to grocery stores and roasteries. There you go, coffee fans. There's a quick tour of coffee shops near Inglewood, Colorado. Okay, so after I showed everybody what they came there for, which was the coffee shops, then I earned the opportunity to introduce myself and who I was. I didn't say anything about me until after I gave them what they were there for. And that's the, a mistake I see a lot of people making when they start their video out. They say, my name is, and this is what I do. And it's like, oh, what? 
right? Because that's not valuable. What's valuable is the coffee shops, the subject matter that uh, I took the time to record for them so that they could find what they were looking for. And they were looking for coffee shops. So that can be done with five-star restaurants, that can be done with dog parks, that can be done with um, schools, golf courses, five-star, things to do, that's kind of thing. Question in the back. You're dealing with individuals uh, doing the videos on that. Specific to a coffee shop? It would have with the you wouldn't make a video unless there was already thousands of people looking for that keyword every month. People look for these. They do active searches on Google for these keywords. You're getting yourself in front of these, this volume of people that you already know is going to be there month after month after month. And so, you invest your time and your energy and your effort, your creativity and ingenuity into this one minute video. And it works for you every day to introduce you to more and more people. It's like a robot salesperson that did duplicated you and turned your marketing efforts into exponential introductions instead of knocking on the door 30 times a day or making 30 phone calls a day, I'm getting targeted views from people who are actually interested in what I'm talking about 100, 200 times a day. And that's translating into one or two phone calls coming in to me every day. So it's this video sales force that's going out into your community and it's returning that back to you. Question. Lots of people are looking for AC contract for right now or AC because it's cold. Yes. It's hot right now. So yes. what, what would you do if there is no AC company with a sign? Yeah, no, that's a great idea. Uh, I would make it your mission to go out and find an AC contractor that you enjoy the most, has the best reputation. Maybe you call a few referrals and then you set up the video camera and you talk about the time you invested into finding a good AC contractor in your area. Maybe your parameters are that you want them local, you want them affordable, and you don't want to wait a long time. Sure. You can talk about it. And you might want to do some research into how much keyword volume is, is happening. And I can show you, I can show you how to do that later. Okay, so there are four main reasons that you haven't made a video yet. <laughs> let's, let's go over these reasons. Fear of equipment, fear of technology, fear of cost, and fear of judgment. How much equipment are you gonna need to start with? Where are you gonna put it? Where do you sell your gadget? <laughs> Uh, technology, how much time are you going to spend learning how to use all this stuff? Cost, what kind of budget are we going to have? What are we going to spend it on? Well, who's going to handle the contracts? And what about the script writing and all this stuff? And worst of all, it's the judgment. It's what are people going to say when I put my video out there? Okay, so here's the real brilliance in selling with video. Is that you don't care what a 15-year-old boy says. Because he's not in a position to buy a car or a house or, a, or anything, right? And you might not be worried about what somebody who lives in a, a senior living home cares about your video. Because they are not your audience. The way to get over the sphere of judgment and to build trusting relationships quickly is to speak to your avatar. It's also known as your most profitable persona. This is the person who has the highest demand for what you do and the most amount of money. And 
who you can build trust with the fastest. So they're probably near your same age. They're probably your same gender. They probably exhibit similar behaviors that you do in their parenting styles or their weekly routines. If you look at that one person as the person you know you can help the most because you can anticipate their needs better and because you're just a lot like them, then it really wouldn't matter what anybody would else think because that's not who you intended to watch it. And therefore, they would never have become a client anyways. The, the way to overcome fear is to do it, get more repetitions, and to make them specifically for one viewer. Albert Einstein said that any fool can make things bigger, more complex, and more violent. It takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. And that's what you're going to do. Make it real easy for yourself to do this video marketing technique. Uh, and I say this only takes 30 minutes a week if you dedicate yourself to it. Two hours at first, maybe an hour next week, and then a 30 minutes a week after. And the, the only tools you need are Google Photos and Google Drive. That's uh, the software that holds your video and your images in your phone. So you're not tied to your phone or have limitations by the data storage in your phone. And then there's several uh, of these soft smartphone video editing apps. Magisto is the one that I use. But there are other ones that are free or low cost that you can you can start with if you're starting off slow. The tools, you, you got it right. It's our smartphone now. That's really all we need and it's free. And I got a great example of uh, overcoming judgment that I'll share with you. I was, uh, I was 28 years old and I was doing my first construction, uh, my first entrepreneurial job. Right, and I got this thing uh, for Christmas. The it was March, and it for I got, we got this. You everybody remember this? What's it called? The flip cam, yeah. and because it, it flips out like that, and you plug it in your computer, and you can slide it to the desktop. Well, it was the first time you could take HD video in your hand before it came out in phones, right? So I was looking at this thing like, great, mom, yeah, this, right. I'm not, a, I'm not an actor. I'm not going to remember lines because I know they're just going to come out horrible. So don't even ask me to do that. I'm not a comedian. You know, I'm not this Oregon with the monkey grinder. And I'm not, uh, what am I going to do? So I kept asking myself, what am I going to say? And it's hitting myself. And, you know, finally you ask yourself a question enough times, you get the answer. I'm like, <laughs> Do the same thing I'm doing every day, six times a day. And at the time I was a, an investor, I mean a fix and flip contractor and I worked for investors or subcontractors. And I just walked them through the house. I'd say this, this, we're gonna do this here and that's gonna be over there. And I didn't have to remember anything if I did that because I was already doing it six times a day. So there I was with the camera. I'm standing in front of 1643 Raleigh Street. My name is Anthony Pritchard, and an investor just hired me to fix this house. They bought the house for $320,000. They're going to put $70,000 into it, and hopefully they're going to sell it for $420,000. So as you can see, the outside's very ugly with the, the lava rock that they put on it. And uh, inside the front door here, you can see we took down the cabinets and we're already starting to put in the base trim and prime the walls. And oh, here in the hallway, Javier is installing the tile. Javier, would you like to tell the people watching at home what you're doing there? And, and Javier says, oh, Anthony, yes. Are you kidding me? This is like the best pinwheel travertine tile hallway I've ever put in. It's got an 8 inch bone grout. I'm going to polish it and seal it. You're just going to love it, man. And I was like, oh, a lot of energy. Okay, 
Like, and I knew I had something that was entertaining and educational. And that's what people really look for when they go to watch videos, you know. And so I, all I did was allow the camera to capture what was really happening. This is the evidence of what it's like on my job sites. It's pretty fun. You know, we have a lot of energy. We keep things cleaned up and uh, we work together. And they got to see that when I put a, a camera on. And it was spontaneous and it was compelling and it was unscripted completely, but it shows a window behind the scenes into what it's really like to work with you. And so you really are gonna make it easy for yourself and you're just gonna do the same thing you're doing all the time anyways. Like the camera is the person you're walking through the house. And go ahead, question. Yeah, how do you tie, like say if you're doing something like landscaping or golf courses, how do you tie that into you as a realtor to drive them to your site or whatever? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, let's say we're going to review the golf courses. In order to watch your video, somebody would have typed in to the Google search key, golf courses in North San Diego. Okay. They came across your video. What do they want? Right. So you're going to highlight three golf courses. And you're going to say it's right here. Uh, they've got a good uh, chipping range and putting and uh, I like to warm up on the driving range and uh, I noticed their menu was good too. You go from each one to each one. I actually have a storyboard that I'll share with you, but you're going to give people what they want. And then at the end, you're going to introduce yourself and say, hey, if you're looking for a house, maybe one near a golf course like this, I'm happy to be your tour guide. Not a lot of selling, really. Yeah. I mean, it's like 10 seconds of selling. The rest of it is just being uh, of service. I think that video communication is just on the forefront of all corporate skills. We did not learn video production in college, business class. It was not taught. But now it's very painfully obvious that we, if we're not using video, we're falling behind every day. And this is a good example of that. As a CEO, you can use video to automate yourself. Instead of having to be at a press conference or in the actual weekly meeting, you can create videos for people in your internal organization. You can send it to them instantly. There is no meeting. It's just check your video. And then the outside world needs to know who you're about and why you're different. What's your unique service offering? So the, the CEO is now the new video executive officer. And that's a new actual title that's being implemented in companies across the nation. Video, chief video officer, CVO. And internally, if you're in, a, in any position, you can outsource your mundane data entry or whatever it is about your, to somebody overseas and give yourself a promotion. Instead of the company paying $30 an hour, they're, they're paying $5 an hour. And now you just gave yourself more responsibility and you're able to move up. And if your job is to train your predecessor or to train somebody to do these other things, you can onboard them faster before they even get to the interview. They've had to watch five videos to know if they're a good fit or not for the job you're working on. Does that make sense? Okay, here's an example example of how farming can take place in a whole brokerage like this. Not everybody lives in the same place, so they all pick a different geographic farm and they just target on that one area. And even if there's overlapping, maybe one focuses on senior living and one focuses on veteran homes, they can still not conflict with each other even in the same geographic area. First time home buyers, condos, you can specialize in one type of product. Okay, so here's the live demonstration. 
The first thing you got to do is research your title to determine if it has sufficient volume for you to create a video on. And these two tools right here, spyfu.com or LSI Graph, are the companies that give you information about keywords. How much volume is happening there, those keywords. Step two, have a structure, use a storyboard. This is what you were asking about, uh, what she was asking about with how, how I make the video. I think this is the most valuable slide in my whole presentation. I start here every single time. And before I record my video, I jot down that one. I talk about this. And then I've only got 15 or 20 seconds of information to remember. I don't have to remember the whole thing. And this actually gives people the information in the order that they prefer to receive it. Who's it for? What's it about? And how can it help? So you'll see this storyboard repeated over and over in all the one minute videos that I help create. Do you know why one minute videos? Because somebody's not willing to sacrifice more than a minute of their time to hear what you have to say if they don't know who you are, if they've never heard of you before. But if you can do the job of building trust with them in one minute, they'll be willing to watch more, right? They'll, they'll naturally want more. And they, sh they should be willing to watch. I'm confused. Yeah. So you said that our video would be the, the ad before or something? And it's their one minute long? I thought they were like, so let's let's do an example here. Give, give me a title of a video that you might make when you go home. Let's come up with a quick script. Literally, you know, whatever information for kids. Okay. Little League information for, for kids. For Poway, you know, like, yeah. In what, what's your neighborhood? Poway. Poway. So Little League information in Poway is, is the, the keyword, right? Um, you got kids going to play some Little League? The first, the first one. You know, take, done, cut. Got it. Kids are going to do Little League? See, the problem with Little League and Poway is not all the same leagues are the same. You don't want to get in the wrong one. You'll go drive too far for your games. Don't let that happen to you. Hi, my name's Kelly McFarland with Keller Williams. I'm a real estate officer. I also live in this neighborhood. The best Little League to get a part of is New Dogs Little League because he, he just pours money into that program. And your kids are going to be flying first class, <laughs> right? Hey, if you are got a kid on Snoop Dogg's Little League team, and you're looking to buy a house, or you just want you just want to hang out with me at the next game, click the link below. <laughs> so that's an example of how to use this story. So you became a comedian. <laughs> 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 well, I just kind of dove right in, I guess. Yeah. But the most important thing is to make you smile. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe, maybe that's the that issue, too. Let me see your smile. Smile <laughs> button. It's so depressing. It's a video. He's not going to smile. Oh. Tragic. I was watching the England game. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. It's, it's, they tied it up. Oh my god! Full time is over. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna start playing it in the corner because it's like, how am I missing? <laughs> Wait, no, that's what I've been looking up the whole time. It's not working. <laughs> oh, I thought you were the big <laughs> troublemaker up here. Um, okay, I've got another tool for you before I jump in to make the video because we're gonna use this tool. 
as a part of our, uh, this is something you're going to want to download, okay? It's called Legend. So go to the Play Store or the iPhone Store and download the Legend app. I'll rate it later. Thanks. So real estate resources. Legend. Oh, that was Let's see. Oh, was that L thing? Yeah. And what's our city here? San Diego. We're, we're islands. We're North, North Island. North, North but but it's, it's some springs, though. Oh, Saber Springs is the name Yeah. It's the neighborhood? Yeah. The neighborhood? Mm -hmm. OK, Saber Springs. The Peace Lakin? Yeah, that. The blue one? No, no not that one. The black with a okay. yellow yeah. L. The third one. I made text and video and stuff. We have to launch a class and discuss our computer and look at it. Not Google. Okay, sure. No, not the, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll restart with Legends thing. What Legends? It's a tab if you're done. Is it? It's a restore. You got to go end the store. Anybody know how to dim the lights in the middle here? Yeah. You can just yeah. turn them all off if mm -hmm. you want to. Okay, looks like we're back on the Legend app. And I typed in, catching up here, real estate resources. And I can choose different colors. I can choose different types of animations. And come up with the one that I want to use in my video. So, where's the one that frames it up? Savers go differently. S-A-B-R-E. S-A-B-R-E? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just go. We'll do that nice blue one. Frame it up. Download it and save it as a video. So down here there's a download. <coughs> okay, and um, back to the slides. Do you have people for the first time doing this? Yeah. You do? I do. Yay. Sometimes okay. they want a little hand holding, so I say, okay. Yeah. It, it just, I mean, it's a learning curve. It really did take me 10 years to learn how to do all this, but I shortened it down to 30 minutes a week. Okay. So there is a lot that there is to learn, but once you learn it, then you know it, and you can do it very quickly over and over again. But you live in Denver, right? I do live in Denver. Okay, so now we're going to record the demo video. And this is the script that I'm going to use. Uh, that's the hook, right? Are you looking for real estate resources in Saber Springs, North San Diego area? Today I'm teaching a class on the best practices for using YouTube. And behind me are licensed real estate agents. So if you'd like to just take a look around and choose one of these agents behind me, I'm sure they'd be happy to help you. Anything you need. Smile. Smile, right. Okay, so I'm going to put this video on the screen and I'm going to mount this to the back there. Got a microphone. You just plug your microphone in the um, ear thingy, or yeah, in the ear thingy, right? Um, okay, so this looks. I'm gonna put it on the door right here. I think. Just, and 
And I'll turn the camera on. There's good lighting here. That's why I like this one. Bring it up to eye level. Unless it's at eye level, people have a problem taking it seriously. And I'll plug it in here. The phones don't have a thing to plug in now. Uh, there's a little dongle that makes you get. They still haven't figured that out. Okay. So, Apple? Yeah, like my phone doesn't have no, there's an adapter. There is? Yeah, ask Cole or Logan. I'm sure they can. Oh, can you fill in so it doesn't look so empty over there? Stuffing my face. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We need somebody at that table. Come on, everybody, come join us. There it is. Oh, right there. Uh, this yep. is behind her, behind her. Behind her here? Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, do we have to smile or no? Yeah, you guys have to like say, pick me at the end. But, well, no. You know, but for your body language, right? It's on a timer. I'll put it on a timer. Are you looking for real estate resources in the Saber Springs, North San Diego area? Well, today I'm teaching a class on YouTube best practices for a group of real estate agencies. Oh, wow. To your Gmail account. Okay. So our little username or whatever, that's our. Is that it? In your app switcher, you'll have all your different Google tools attached to your Gmail account. Just navigate to YouTube and it'll take you right to your channel. How do we know what our So here's the video that I'm uploading. And I'll just. 
this a video manager. Let me make sure. There it is. Now, this is the, the piece that's also so important. And so I put it on the back of this index card. This is how to properly upload your video so that it shows up on the first page. The most important thing is that this keyword phrase is duplicated in the title, the description, and the meta tag. That's the most important. So I'm going to make sure that happens. So you can see, here it is. There, I've got it, and then down here. Now, I'm also going to put the um, longer description. Now I'm going to the name, address, and phone number. This is also referred to as the citation. And let's see, it's on my calendar actually. number this would be right here right yeah it's still it's still the same website it is We say connect. Put all your social media links under there. Like if we went to Facebook and typed in. There it is. Copy, paste, um, other YouTube videos. And we just go here and find. Here, other resources. 
So the way we do this is go here now and type in Looks like a neighborhood resource. And for, uh, we put that one here. Now we're giving this description area in our video lots of good resources and things for the Google spiders to look at. And that's what's going to help your video rank on the first page. Now, if I go over here to the advanced settings tab, I'm going to give it the language English recording date is today. Uh, this content is never aired on US television. I kind of say like this is the SATs fill out as much information as you can. And then it uh, will give you the most points. Okay, so if I wanted to change the custom thumbnail, I could do that here. But for the most part, my video is done and I'm ready to publish. How do you choose your audience though? You know, like where do you want it to go? Yeah. That would be if you advertise it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Right now, it's just going to be discovered through. Oh, so this is just like organic stuff. Organic stuff. Yep. You clicked yourself so many times. So that really <laughs> no, but you can you can manufacture views. You know, you can pay for views, like I was talking about, and that will increase your popularity as well. So this is the this is the strategy we, we went here. The first two lines are the snippet, the longer description. You can just talk about everything that you discussed in the video, resources, name, address, phone number, map link on your Google Maps URL, connect with me on social, hashtag strategy, and then the meta tags. There it is. Okay, so we've got to give that a little bit of time to get indexed. And uh, with, by the time we leave, that will have its have it indexed itself so that we can find it on the internet. Tommy, are you going to provide a copy of your PowerPoint presentation? I did. I already did. It was in the messenger. Okay, so that's where it's at. Class material. Yes. So I've got an activity for us while we wait for that to get indexed and it's just a couple minutes, but it's the thing, the most valuable thing on any website. Anybody know what it is? No. It's the thing that helps you get the most sales. Do this right before they call you. Oh, here. They watch a video testimonial. Because they've got this risk and reward factor, right? They're not sure if what they're going to get is worth the money they're about to give you. So, what a better way to reduce that risk than to see someone who was already had walked in their shoes, the video testimonial. But whenever you ask somebody for a video testimonial, what do they say? Freak uh, out. No. Right. right, their shoulders start to like creep yeah. up into their ear holes and they're like, what do I say? I don't know. Right, so this helps anyone give a great one minute testimonial. So what I want you to do is find a partner 
and give a testimonial to one another. Okay, the more you're comfortable at giving testimonials, the easier it will be for you to ask for one. So I want you to give your first video testimonial if you have not given one before. And don't look down at the card. Look straight, look straight into the iris. Say, my name's Anthony Pritchard. I'm here at Keller Williams North Inland. <laughs> and I'm giving a class on YouTube present uh, techniques. I had a great time today. Uh, you know, there was not as many people as I hoped for. I think this is really good information and like the whole group should be here. But I know for the people that are here, they had a great experience. And if you'd like to see this technique, get a hold of me somehow, put a comment below and let's talk about it. Got it? Does that make sense? People watching. Oh, those are where all the people are. Yeah, they are. Okay. Like I gotta give them. I gotta give them the slide. Then here's the slide for them. They can see it. I wish they could just take it off my computer screen. It's probably a little fuzzy. That from the camera in the back of the room. Um, but but this this is the class participation part. You don't have to publish this. Nobody has to see it. But you gotta practice, okay? I'm gonna get some water. Good luck. It's funny, Jennifer. I do. You guys can work. I'm self-entertained. <laughs> so like, uh, uh, where's the part again? You can stare at it. I would have to take a three hours to do I'm like trying to open two astros right now. Everything I was doing under, uh, because his eye was the same thing. So you put your Oh, the Chinese version. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am. I think I actually am doing the most. This is not on Facebook. Oh! Times are changing, huh? I know. I was on Facebook. I hated it. So I'm like, no, this is just so bad. Oh. <laughs> it's too much unnecessary information to my brain. Yeah, and so it's just it's a business tool. Yeah, it? that's. That's the only reason I would get on there now. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, I've changed one person today. <laughs> okay, hopefully you've had enough time to practice. If you didn't get a chance, you still have many more opportunities because there are people in your life that, um, that you appreciate. 
their service providers over your work. I would love to hear your gratitude. And once this happens, you, you enter into this law of reciprocity, of giving and receiving. Once somebody receives great value from you, they are more inclined to reciprocate that value in some way. So this is the main marketing practice that all major brands use today. Free to fee marketing. The Uber gives you a ride for free in hopes that you have a good experience and that you come back. This is the law of attraction we spoke about in the beginning of the class that Larry and Sergey pioneered, which was give people a good experience and they'll keep coming back. How many free things does Google give you? Like email, right? Photo storage, uh, wow. conference calling. Yeah, they give you a free phone number. Google gives you a lot of free stuff. And in return, you have purchased things through Google and they have, they have received benefit from you doing so. So do a good job of giving video testimonials to the businesses in your community that could use it. And they in turn will give you a video testimonial uh, when you needed one later. This is a good thing for businesses to share with one another because they recognize the value right away. If businesses just simply exchanged video testimonials, we'd have all the evidence we need to show people who we are and what we do and the kind of value they get. So now is the time for questions and for me to talk to you about my offer to you. The offer is for you to have this all-in-one production studio and classes so that you can do it for yourself. And uh, it's listed for 197 on my website, but in person I offer it for 170 because I eliminate the hassle of mailing it and it for me it happens all at once. So I brought four with me, but if I run out, then I can easily send it to you and I'll honor the same price. I just couldn't bring all of it with me on my travel. It didn't fit in my suitcase. Is this 170 one-time deal? Or is this more like a... No, for the thingy. Oh. 170 for the tool and the training. You also get a book that goes over all the information called Three Simple Steps to Selling on YouTube for business mm -hmm. and uh, three hours of training that go over these three courses that was up here earlier. When do you teach the other two? Recorded on video and I send you the link on my website. It's a hidden page that has these three one hour trainings. Basically what you sat through here was this one. So now if you want to review it, you can. Can watch these two as well and then so do you just come down here like to san diego you know like once a month so if we wanted to do this how would we set up time with you yeah if you wanted to hire me directly i go for once 50 a month and i say we should probably do it together for three months so i'll have to see that you're capable of making videos uh, after we work together the first time in April to do those two other months. I'm here twice a year. So I don't know if we'd have time to do it before I left, but something we could talk about. So 750 is a great value for you to get today for 170. And you get this equipment that basically eliminates the need to get any other equipment. This is capable of doing it all with your smartphone and uh, it comes with a microphone, so, and a light. Did you see the light? Did I show you the light yet? No. Here's is, the light. Is your stick Bluetooth activated or? No, it's not Bluetooth activated, but it does have this. Did I not put batteries in this one? Solar. That one needs batteries.
edit. Mm -hmm. AAA batteries, but this one. Has. Oh, the front desk. Okay. Do they have some? Okay. So that light, it's not really for daylight, but it does work at night and it does work in attics and in basements or big dark closets. Underneath the bed. Or underneath the bed, yeah. So any, it, this just eliminates the excuse, oh, I don't have the equipment. Well, yes, now you do. And it breaks down to 16 inches. It's very compact, which was part of the requirement for me to make this was that I wanted it small and mobile, fit in a, a backpack or a suitcase. And it's got gaffing tape on it because did you know the most used tool in any video production is gaffing tape. And inevitably you'll wanna tape down a wire or a microphone and then you've always got access to that tool right there. Clamps up very neatly and then goes right inside this bag. <coughs> so that's my offer. Do you have any questions? Yeah, can we just talk to you afterwards? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Anybody else? What video are you going to make when you go home this week? For some my AC guy and my guy. Well, especially if you have a resources page on your website yeah. of all the vendors that we work with, like you can just use the vendors that are associated with one of our websites. And video. Especially the AC guy. Do you find to be the optimum uh, length of uh, your videos? A minute. One minute. One minute. Yep, I try to do it all in one minute. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, this was Thank really you. helpful. Great. Yeah, yeah. Aisha to England one. What? Oh, oh. oh. They, they still play in two, two more minutes. Oh, yeah. oh. It's a crazy heartbreaker. Game. What a crush. What? what a game. <laughs> Croatia to England one. one. I don't know. It seems like Croatia's the team. Yeah, Everybody's got to beat this year. So you're saying. <laughs> To hire you is like one fifty a month, and it's well seven fifty. Okay, and then this comes with it. This is separate. Okay. It's one seventy. Okay. 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 So one seventy plus seven fifty, or if you do seven fifty, that models. I know. Is there seven? And then you walk us through three months. Yeah. With those videos, and how to pull about you. Yeah, 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 I'm just there. Like, there's never a time you can't get to. Yeah. Because we're, we're holding hands, making it happen. Okay. All right. And then, because I always, you know, one of the things I wanted to do was, I got a Facebook page. Yeah. Here, go ahead. And I need that. Do you help people kind of, you know, upgrade that with that? Okay. Yeah. All right, then. So, okay. I'm going to think. Yeah. Everything you want to know, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I'm just oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're here until tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm here yeah. till Saturday. Yeah, today is Wednesday. Okay. Um, okay. Let me I call you tomorrow. Yeah, I've got See if time. I said that. Yeah, so I can set something up before I leave. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'll give you a call tomorrow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome class. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it.